hello and welcome all in this video so today we are going to discuss about the fish diseases particularly the fish diseases caused by the worms in our previous videos we had discussed about the bacterial diseases viral diseases protozoan diseases and fungal diseases so now by this video we will take the information about the fish diseases caused by some worms like trematodes cystodes nematodes and some anidan anidan the anidan worms which causes the disease to the fish let us see first so uh, chiefly there are having two types of flukes that is the trematodes trematodes are called as the flukes they are having two types of trematodes or the fluke which causes the disease to the fishes one type is called as monogenetic flukes and second type of flukes or trematodes are called as diagenetic flukes monogenetic flukes means these flukes complete their life cycle within a single host so called as monogenetic monogenetic means such type of flukes or such type of animals can complete their life cycle in a single host and here is the host is a fish so the monogenetic flukes are found or they complete their life cycle within a single host of the that is the fish and they can transfer transferred directly from one fish to the another fish so they are having monogenetic flukes and these flukes found on external body surface that is mostly these are found or attach externally on the body on the skin on the gill they are having some example like dactylogyrus gyrodactylus diplozoan these are some uh, trematodes which consider as a monogenetic flux and now there are having second type of group of flux that is called as diagenetic flux so this diagenetic means these flux complete their life cycle they can require two hosts to complete their life cycle so called as diagenetic if the host other than fish are destroyed their life cycle never gets completed so diet diagenetic flux requires two genes or two animals to complete their life cycle so whenever we can destroy any one that is uh, their uh, any one of the animal their life cycle never gets completed so their control becomes easier in case of diagenetic flux these are primarily external and become internal on secondarily these are primarily external and becomes internal secondarily some examples like crypto crypto style and diplostomum these are some some trematodes which causes which called as a diagenetic flux and causes disease to the fishes various fish diseases caused by trematodes are so here are some diseases which causes uh, which are related to the trematodes that is the uh, we commonly called as flux so here are first type that is called as external flux this external flux means the flux belonging to the family gyrodactylidae or dactylogyridae gyrodactylidae and dactylogyridae type of flux are called as external flux and they are commonly found on the external body surface so called as external flux and these are found attached on the skin on the gills or on the fins these are found attached on the gills fins and skins externally but Uh, dactylogyridae dactylogyrids these dactylogyrids are commonly found only on the gills so hence they are also called as gill flukes dactylogyridae are also called as gill flukes because these are found externally only on the gills then uh, about the external flukes gy gyrodactylidus elegans this gyrodactylus elegans is a common parasite 
of the carps and may be found on the skin, gills and fins. The affected surface become the affected surface becomes covered over by bluish slime due to increased secretion of mucus. The symptom about the external fluke that is the affected surface becomes covered over by bluish slime due to increased secretion of mucus. When the infection is heavy in severe condition, when the infection is heavy, the color of the affected fish becomes pale. In heavy infection, in latter cases, the color of the fish becomes pale and the skin becomes more slimy, skin becomes more slimy due to which the infected fishes rubbing their body against the sides. The fishes infected with these parasites are often seen rubbing their body against the sides or bottom of the pond or any other object beside them. So these are the symptoms about the external flux. Then the treatment given to this type of disease that is here are having deep treatment for about 3 to 5 minutes. Deep treatment of 3 to 5 minutes. 5% NaCl solution or we can also use we can lift this fish in water tanks for 2 to 3 days and that water tanks contains acriflavin we can leave these fishes for 2 to 3 days in the water containing 10 ppm acriflavin or we can also use methylene blue dye treatment for this type of diseases. So this is all about the external flux which is one of the type of disease caused by the trematodes. Now the second type which is having name gill fluke. This gill fluke caused by Dactylovirus vasatator. Dactylovirus vasatator causes the gill fluke and they can damage to fry and fingerlings of the calves. These are only found on the gills of the fishes because they are belonging to the family Dactylogyridaeus. So these are gill flukes which damages the gills. When it attains a length of 1 millimeter, when this particular disease causes when this trematode, when this trematode attains a length of 1 millimeter, they can cause especially damage to fry and fingerlings of the calves. And the disease caused by this parasite is called as ductilogyrosis. The disease caused by ductilogyrosis is called as ductilogyrosis. And due to which the fast respiration, inflamed gills and scratching against the bottom, these are some symptoms, general symptoms which are found in the ductilogyrosis. Whenever this type of trematodes, gill flukes are attached to the body of the fish, this fish, in that fish we can found the respiration is faster, fast respiration found in these fishes, inflamed gills are inflamed and scratching the, uh, against the bottom. In later stages, gill destroy and leading to mortality. And the gills are completely destroyed leading to heavy mortality of the calves due to this type of trematodes, that is Dactylogyrus vastator. And the treatment given for the disease is same as that of the external flukes. Now, third one disease caused by the trematode that is having a name yellow group. This yellow group caused by clinostomum. The disease of freshwater fishes is due to the fluke clinostomum 
for this yellow grub in the fishes this parasite is small sized small sized cyst and enclosed in a cyst this particular type of parasite is small sized and enclosed in a small cyst lying just beneath the skin lying beneath the skin the cyst are in the form of small cream colored nodules on head body and fins the cysts are in the form of small cream colored nodules on the head body and fins of the fishes the cyst contains metacytic area of the adult fluke the cyst contains metacytic area or cytic area of the adult fluke which reaches in the throat or mouth of the fish eating birds the eggs are set into the water and hatch and producing by hatching the eggs producing cytic area which penetrate the snail the cytic area come out of the body of the snail and penetrate below the scales of most freshwater fishes to form the cyst so this cyst can travel from the bird to the snail and from the snail to the fish like that the treatment which is given for the infected fishes are the infected fishes cured by dissecting cyst to remove the parasite and wound may be disinfected by murochrome the wound can be disinfected by the murochrome so to avoid such a type of disease the snail should not thrive in the pond so we must check the snail population in the pond and the fourth disease caused by the trematodes that is called as gill rot this gill rot disease is caused by diplozoon paradoxum which is also called as twin worm this disease is caused by diplozoon paradoxum that is twin twin worm it is monogenetic trematode and found on the gills of various species of the fish the young ones get attached with each other in pairs by sucking this by their mouths and thus forms twins hence the name twin worm generally these worms are attached to each other by their sucking disc so called as twin worm the larvae which fail to find a partner can be die so they are always found in a pair so called as twin worm so treatment for this twin worm twin worm can be removed by treating the fishes with methylene blue or picric acid the twin worm can be removed by treating the fishes with a very dilute solution of methylene blue or picric acid so these are some five different uh, four different type of diseases belonging to the trematodes now next the diseases which is caused by the cystode the diseases fish diseases by cystodes so here is one name of the species that is bothriocephalus gokonogenesis which is a type of tapeworm is a common tapeworm of and parasite of chinese carp grass carp and silver carp such a type of cystode it is a tapeworm found on the chinese carp grass carp or the silver carp generally having a name bothriocephalus gokonogenesis and there is having a single uh, again a uh, species that is called as lingula intestinalis which is also a tapeworm this lingula intestinalis is another tapeworm infecting number of fish species especially the cyprinids and it is marked by the swollen intestine that is swollen intestine is the symptoms of the tapeworm tapeworm infection because they can choke 
the cyst you can chop the cyst the, the cyst can chop the intestine of the fishes so intestine can be swollen the treatment for this particular type of this is that is the bath of kemino 4 bath of kemino 4 at 4 ppm kemino 4 then bath of nacl 3 to 5 percent nacl bath of copper sulfate or we can use bath of formalin or bath of malic malicate green or we can also use the picric acid these are some chemicals used to overcome by the disease caused by the cystos now about the diseases which diseases caused by some nematodes so nematodes the common nematodes infecting the tropical freshwater fishes belonging to the genera Philometra or Camelinus. Camelinus or Philometra, these are the genera which commonly causes disease to the fishes, tropical freshwater fishes. And infected fishes becomes dull and sicky and their intestine can be swelled or chalked by these nematode parasites the treatment given for this type type of disease that is a deep treatment deep treatment of picric acid for 45 to 60 minute picric acid treatment is given for this type of nematode this type of diseases now lastly about the fish diseases caused by some annelids which this is caused by the annelids that is having particular type of well known annelid that is called as leeches piscicola piscicola type of leeches belonging to the family ganthodelidae attaches these fish leeches are attaches to the body of the freshwater fishes and sucks blood and when this detach, detach or leave the fish leave the fish body when they detach leaving a wound and this wound is a uh, open for secondary fungal infection so piscicola is a common fish leech after having their after having their meal they they can detach themselves from the body and leaving a wound open for secondary fungal infection causing more harm to the fishes so treatment for this particular type of leeches that is Fishes from such ponds must be removed and placed in suitable bath before they are transferred to leech free ponds. That is, such a type of diseases, uh, this such a type of fishes can be collected separately and live in a separate pond. The infected ponds are then drained, dried, and limed. Infected pond water can uh, then drained this pond can be drained remove the water and leave for dried and limed to destroy the eggs of the leeches and leech leaving their certain recommended for um, recommended bath there are having some recommended bath for about the bath of the lysol for about 5 to 15 seconds it is a deep treatment of lysol 5 to 15 seconds then 10 percent nacl bath treatment also given or for 20 to 30 minute for young fishes and 20 percent nacl bath treatment for aged fishes and we can also use quick lime bath for one minute so these are some treatments given to the annelids or to the uh, the diseases which is caused by the annelids this is caused by the leeches this is all about the fish diseases caused by the worms. So thank you once again for watching this video.